hiking time. Hiking. Mine. Go on hiking. Go. Yeah. Hiking time. Who's ready to go hiking? Me. It's hiking time. Let's go. You look out here and watch the deer and the. We're gonna go set up camp because we're camping. This is crazy large. I wrote this. I wrote it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Hello everybody! You know who it is. It's, it's us again, Adventures with the Christmas! Hey guys, we are so excited that you are coming along for another Adventures with the Christmas hike. This is really the first hike of the season for us. And today we are hiking a beautiful trail. I don't even know what it's called, but I'll put it on the screen right here. <laughs> I don't even know what it's called, but we are gonna do it and it's about a uh, 10 mile hike all together and it is an out and back to a little lake. So we're just gonna take some fun videos and uh, some beautiful views along the way. So make sure you stay tuned for all the fun. The doggos are ready to go. All right, thought so far for the trail. If you wanna create soft humans, don't do things that are hard with your kids. Don't require them to make choices that are tough and baby them, uh, for lack of a better word. Treat them um, even when they get older as if they're, they're tiny little babies and you will create a society like we're dealing with today. Or you can treat your children with the dignity and the respect that you expect adults to get as well and you will create humans who are able to change their attitude when they don't appreciate something who are able to look past offenses who are able to do hard things even when they don't want to who are able to be consistent with the things that are tough i know it sounds kind of harsh and kind of tough but if you want somebody who's able to overcome that's not just done by blindly living your life you have to require your kids and your family to do hard things and you do that by showing them that you're willing to do hard things and showing them the different opportunities that they have and by leading at a, as an example and doing them first yourself. Right, Cruz? Mm -hmm. Then you're gonna create human beings who are overcomers, all those other good stuff. So, thought for the trail so far. Yeah, nice little view, huh? On the road again! I just can't wait to get on the road again! Oh, yummy! Yeah. Campsite, huh? Whoa, we are coming up to a nice little mountain range, huh, guys? Let's go! Look at that! That is a beautiful little mountain right there. Oh, yes, beautiful. Look at that. I don't know. Oh, well, we met some other travelers on the road who were camping out here. That was interesting. They had a, a dog too, so it's always nice to see fellow travelers. They were out, they were out there bushwhack camping. <laughs> they were, that was pretty cool. Maybe we'll do that someday in a few more years. All right, guys, we are one hour in. And we have gone three miles. So almost exactly 20 minutes a mile. It's not bad, babe. So now we'll take a quick little 10, 15 minute break. Maybe eat some donuts. Ooh, some donuts. And we'll take a little resty. And then we'll go the last mile and a half in to the lake. Stay tuned. Go, babe. 
good. Don't underestimate a power of the girl. The power of a girl. <laughs> Never underestimate the power of a girl. Let's go, lady. Oh yeah, we are an hour and a half in and we've gone four miles. Still making our way down the trail. Got like one more right, mile. Right, Kaz? Yeah. Got about one more mile. Then we will be at the lake. Let's go. This is very cool. Look what we found. Some stone. And it got like, whoa, that's cool. Very, very cool. Let's go look. We are so close to the lake. Let's go. Oh, yes. We were close. We have officially made it to the lake. Let's flip and go. Yeah, bro, we found the lake. Let's go. Or you can go over here. Just like that, it's time for a swim. Let's go. Let's go for it. Too much fun. Woo! All right, it took us exactly two hours to get here. It was 5.5 miles. Now it's time to get in the lake. Let's go. Right, Cass? Well, today was Hannah's first cold plunge. Yep, up to my shoulders anyway. Yep, yep. She couldn't quite get her head in, right? Not, Not this quite. time. Maybe next time. Next time. This is called rapper sizing. <laughs> Not exercising, rapsercising. <laughs> right, Lana? Mm -hmm. Got to have that wrap. Yeah, what up? Rather than this? Yeah, we could hike right up here and on that space. We could. Oh, really? All right, send it, boys. Don't fall. <laughs> All right, 30 seconds, stay in. 30 seconds, Cruz, go. 30 seconds, come on. This works. I don't know where it will be. Make sure it's not in front of your face. Oh! Cruz, you're a goober. We have left the lake. That was super, super fun. We got a spicy thumbnail for you. We all ended up doing a cold plunge. Sky even went in. She was, uh, she didn't go quite in as deep as we did, but that's okay. We had a super, super fun time at the lake. Now we're just gonna head back. It took us about two hours to get here and it's what time, babe? Six o'clock. Six o'clock, so we're gonna be getting back right, right about eight o'clock. We did take like two breaks, which took us about a half an hour. 
So if we don't take as many breaks, then we should be okay to get back before dark. But on our way here, we had a lot of incline and then right at the end, we had a little bit of decline. So this time we'll have a, a bunch of incline right at the beginning and then we'll have a whole bunch of decline up like the last hour and a half. So we'll be all right. We've still got the doggos with us. They are enjoying the outdoors. And actually it is, it is getting more beautiful as the night goes on because the sun's kind of going down and the air is kind of cooling off just a little bit, which is perfect for beautiful hikes. Guys, stay tuned. We'll tell you where we're at with a transition through Lana's forehead. Oh, transition. One, two. And he, he really wanted to keep playing football, but he had to get a job. Man, we're back to the opening. Absolutely beautiful. We just passed the guys with the dog. Yeah. Two nice men that were out camping. They look like twins. Yeah, they did look very similar, didn't they, Cruz? Yeah. Probably, probably brothers. Probably twin brothers. Probably twin brothers. Yeah. Anyway, we're probably about an hour away from the truck, and we've got about an hour and 45 minutes to two hours of sunlight left, so. We're making her back. Right, dogs. Right, dogs. <laughs> Beautiful. How's everybody doing? Oh, yeah. We're almost there to the end. What do you say, Skye? Can we take a break and get some food? We're almost back to the truck. Let's go there first. What's the matter, Sky? I just wanted to keep the show. Yeah, well, you don't want it to die, <laughs> right? Okay, He's an oyster, right. right? Say goodbye. Say goodbye to Mr. Oyster. Bye, Mr. Oyster. We'll see you again next time. <laughs> see you next time. All right, let's go. That's so freaking cute. Peepers, creepers, where'd you get those peepers? <laughs> Guys, getting a ride on Daddy. Oh yeah! I have As promised. All right, guys, we made it back to the truck. Whoa, that was a good hike. Eleven and a half miles took us three hours and fifty minutes of actual hiking. We did hang out at the lake for about a half an hour, forty-five minutes. So. That was super fun, huh? Oh, everybody's tired. They're ready to go. They're ready to get out of here. Wow. We hope you enjoyed it, everybody. This has been Adventures with the Christmans. We'll see ya.